Okay. So we here at TechWiser have reviewed many laptops. Laptops for productivity, for photo and video editing, for watching videos, coding, everything. And whenever we upload any laptop video, like any laptop video, in the comment section, you guys want us to cover more gaming laptops. And not only gamers, a lot of engineering student, video editor also buy gaming laptops. So we have compiled a list of top 5 gaming laptops that are available right now at discounts. And in this list, we'll also tell you must know things before buying a gaming laptop. So stick around till the end of the video to find out. By the way, this video is made in collaboration with Intel. Intel Gamer Days is going on Amazon and Flipkart and you're getting good sale offers. The sale will be up until 10 September and you will get discounts on most gaming laptops from Dell, Lenovo, HP, etc. We'll tell you all the offers and everything and we'll only be talking about laptops that we have personally used for a couple of weeks to months. And before we get to the laptop, one very important thing to note is, number one, we'll only be talking about laptops with RTX 3050 and beyond. So the minimum budget for these laptops is around 60,000 rupees because see, technically, you can still game on a cheaper laptop with say a GTS 1650, but that is a very old GPU. It came out way back in 2019. Similarly, we'll be only talking about the latest Intel 12th and 13th gen laptops since they are new, better, and pretty much cost the same as previous generation. In fact, Intel 13th gen has support for the latest DDR5 RAM plus 11% extra single thread performance and 49% extra multi-threaded performance. Now let's get with the laptop deals. We'll be starting from Flipkart deals first and then get to Amazon. Okay, so the first one that we have is the Acer Aspire 7. So if you see here on Flipkart, the laptop generally sells for around 62,000 rupees but during the sales you can pick it up for around 59,000 rupees. Now you also get other various offers like 4,000 instant HDFC bank discount or 6 month no cost EMI or extra 5,000 off if you exchange your older laptop. Now we are not including those offers in the discounted price of the laptop. Of course if you can get those offers it will bring the price further down. So the Acer Aspire 7 comes with an i5 12 gen H processor like you see here on Flipkart it says i5 12 450H H in the end. So Intel 12 or 13 gen for example have three letters U, P and H. H is the higher performance one. Now there is also HX series but those are very expensive and rare so just leave them out to avoid confusion. Plus this newer Intel 12th and 13th gen CPUs are different from previous generation because they introduce two types of cores. You have the P or performance core for heavy tasks like gaming, video editing and all of that and E for efficiency cores which is more for low power tasks like when you're writing documents or just simply listening to music. And this is a good addition because there is no need to run the entire CPU for doing small tasks. This helps reduce power consumption and increases the battery life. Plus, the Acer Aspire 7 comes with 8GB DDR4 RAM. Now, the RAM slot is user upgradable. You can expand up to 32GB RAM, but I would recommend getting an extra 8GB RAM because most of the games these days demand 16GB. Besides this, you also get a 4GB RTX 3050. Like, these are the minimum specs for any decent gaming laptop in 2023. Now, we have already done a dedicated video on this laptop. You can check it out from over here. But in short, the gaming performance for the price is pretty good. Since this is a RTX graphic card you get DLSS so in games like control and all you can easily get more than 60 fps at 1080p. Besides this you also get a 15.6 inch anti-glare display and the display has nice viewing angles. So overall if you want a gaming laptop and you have a strict budget of under 60,000 rupees, then you can look into the Acer Aspire 7. And next we have the new series from Lenovo, the Lenovo Lock. This series starts from around 75,000 rupees, but if your budget permits, you could consider the variant that we have. This has the latest i7 13th gen H series processor, 16 GB of DDR5 RAM, along with the new RTX 4060 graphics card, and this sells for around 1.15 lakh rupees. And there are three really cool things with this laptop. Number one is performance. Like we have been using the laptop for quite some time now, and any game we throw at it, this can handle handle it pretty well. Like, let me show you. So here we have Cyberpunk 2077 on 2K resolution with everything set to ultra max settings, even enable ray tracing and we are getting around 67 FPS. For a storytelling game, this is pretty good. Second is the display. This is the only laptop in this list that has a 165Hz refresh rate. So if you're even browsing the web or simply using Windows, everything feels fluid and snappy. Plus there is this intelligent switching, not just talking about mux switch that is there. But see here, now the laptop is plugged in to the charger. The display is running at 165 hertz. Now as soon as I switch to battery mode, see it switches to 60 hertz. This saves battery life. Which brings me to the third point and that is battery. Now of course this is a gaming laptop so battery life is average but this charges very fast. Like it comes with a 175 watt power brick and it can charge it back to 100% in just 30-40 minutes. So 
that's fast. So overall, if you have the budget, then this lock series is a really good choice. Next up is the Dell G15. This sells for around 67,000 rupees. And this too has an i5 12 gen H processor along with a 4 GB RTX 3050 graphics card. But now you'd be like, Prithik, more money, same specs. Well, that is not true. Because the Dell G15 has a higher TGP or total graphics power. To put it into simple words, consider a car which has different variants. And the higher you go, you'll get more engine powers. But in cars, they actually name the variants different like base, grand, sports. In GPUs, you have to do the hard work. See here on Amazon, the Dell G15 is listed 90 watt 3050 graphics card. Meaning, the graphics card of the Dell G15 can deliver more performance than a normal 3050 laptop. More wattage is equal to more FPS. And one thing to add is, while TGP is a major thing when it comes to gaming laptop, it is not everything because then there is also cooling, optimization and all of that. But in simple words, in same games with the same settings, the Dell G15 will give better FPS than a normal 3050 laptop. By the way, with all these 12th gen and 13th gen laptops in this sale, you also get two free games, Assassin's Creed Mirage and Night Angle. You can know more about them from the link in the description. Now, apart from the GPU, the Dell G15 also has faster DDR5 RAM. Now, the base model starts from 8GB DDR5, but most modern games recommend 16GB RAM. So, if the budget permits, you can consider the 16GB variant that costs you around 72,000 rupees. Or even the RAM is user upgradable, so later on you can upgrade to 16GB RAM. Now, most graphic designers and video editors also buy a gaming laptop, but practically, you don't need like ah gaming laptop for editing power. So I would say you can consider the Asus VivoBook 15 OLED for creators. It sells for around 85 to 87,000 rupees. And I'll recommend this laptop for three primary reasons. Number one, it comes with a Type-C Thunderbolt port. So it can charge via any Type-C PD charger. You won't have to carry those bulky chargers with you everywhere that usually come with gaming laptop. Number two is the display. The VivoBook Pro here has an OLED screen, which is Pantone validated, 100% DCI-P3. In simple words, it is more color accurate compared to a normal gaming laptop display. So if you are color grading on it, the colors will appear more accurate. Number three is battery life. Generally, gaming laptops have like three to four hours of battery life, but the VivoBook gets you around seven to eight hours, which is good if you're always on the go. Rest, you get an Intel Core i5 12 450H processor, which has a total of eight cores, four performance cores, and four efficiency cores. That being said, the only thing is you get a RTX 3050 that has a 30 watt TGP, but it is fine if your primary needs is video editing and graphics design. And you can also occasionally play games like GTA 5, Valorant, CSGO, that all will do well. Next up, we have the MSI Sword 15. This usually sells for around 1.15 lakh rupees, but during sales, it comes down to as low as 97,000 rupees. This comes with an i7 12th gen H series CPU, along with the latest RTX 4050 graphics card, and it has a TGP of 105 watt. Now, the biggest advantage of this laptop is that it supports the latest DLSS 3.0, which is exclusive to the 4000 series of NVIDIA graphics card. So in games like Cyberpunk, you get the additional option called frame generation. This basically uses AI to give higher FPS. In simple terms, you can play almost all modern AAA titles in 1080p on ultra settings with more than 60 FPS. Besides this, you also get 16 GB DDR5 RAM along with 1 TB of NVMe storage. So video editing and all that should be a breeze. Overall, if you have a budget of under 1 lakh rupees and you're looking for a complete package of gaming and video editing, the MSI Sword 15 is an option that you can consider. So yeah, that was our pick for the top 5 Intel based gaming laptops out there. Now the Intel Gamer Day sale will be only up until 10 September. You can check out all the offers from the link in the description. Now we may have missed out on some laptops that we have not personally used. So if you think we can recommend some laptop, write a short review of your usage in the comments below and we'll hear the good ones, we'll give a heart. So everyone in the community can benefit from that comment. On that note, this will sign off. See you in the next video. Pew pew.